in what's up so I just wanted to get on here and explain to you guys why I haven't been on YouTube lately I did not forget about you guys I love you guys so much I've been trying to keep up as much as I possibly can on all of my other social media accounts but you know life happens and gets in the way sometimes and I had to um, take like a couple of weeks to get myself you know back to a good health and I am finally at that point so some of you may know from like my Facebook page that I have that um, I've been trying to keep you guys updated I know I haven't been posting a lot but I'm doing the best that I can in the situation that I'm in so without going into too much depth I guess um, my husband lost his job and he's been trying to find a new one, so we've been struggling with money lately. So, oh my god, I got something on my face. It really sucks that he lost his job. It wasn't his fault. It was just stupid. It was this big mess, big ordeal. And, um, we couldn't even go after the company legally because of the fact that they do receive funds from the public and they're pretty much untouchable. Um, so it really sucked and um, so this has been going on for a while so um, we just kind of gave up on that and in the meantime he's been trying to find a job but that's been really hard too because of you know like I said so he finally um, got a job and he's going to be starting it soon so we are getting back on our feet Slowly but surely, that's the start to it. So, <laughs> after all of that stress and nonsense and stupid stuff, and then like with school and finals, I just needed to take a little time, you know, with me and my family to, you know, like, get everything back together in the way it should be. So, <laughs> um... Besides that, um, I have been a little bit under the weather. It's been going on for, um, well, I've had the condition for two years, but recently, within the past year, it's been horrendous. Um, so, and I have been in and out of doctor's appointments, and this last couple of weeks, like with final being stressed out, it has really flared up the condition. So that's another reason why I had to take just like a couple of weeks just to settle and calm down and, you know, get back to the best me, the best health that I can be in. So come to find out, um, if for those of you who know that I am quite young to be having problems like this, but, um, I've been having chest pain and that's just really abnormal for a 23 year old going on 24 to have chest pain and they were thinking that like something was wrong with my heart and um, you know like maybe it could possibly be like a heart attack or something like that. Heart disease does run in my family on my mom's side and my dad's side has a different kind of um, heart problems so I'm just kind of like uh, you know right in the middle of that so <laughs> like I said it's been going on for two years but with everything going on with the stress like I said of school with my husband losing his job and trying to find a new one and all of that legal action and because my job where I work I actually work where my husband got let go from um, I can't talk about it I'm not you know I just can't um, so like I said with all of this going on and everything else my condition has just been flaring up and it's just it's not comfortable it doesn't feel good um, so like I said uh, sorry I'm kind of like blabbing on about nonsense I guess but um, so back to what I was saying so, uh, chest pain in a 23 year old is not normal, um, not, you know, they th were thinking that something was possibly wrong with the heart itself, which is obviously not a good thing, and so I've been in and out of the doctor, I've been having some EKGs and stress tests, I just completed those, I went to see cardiologists a couple of times, and my doctors, for the longest time, could not figure out 
what it was at all because chest pain on the left side for women usually means like a heart attack so that's not good um so I finally went and saw this new cardiologist and she thinks that I have what is called costo costochondritis I think that's how you say it cost costro or yeah I think so costochondritis anyways so pretty much what that is is um, there's an inflammation in the cartilage of the joint where the breastbone and the rib cage meet. There is cartilage in there and they think it's inflamed. So and it's just, you know, it's a mess. But at least we're heading in somewhat of the right direction. And usually with an inflammation, it usually can be caused by several things like having a past injury can inflame things which I can't think of an injury that I had but um or it could be caused by a bacteria or a virus or a couple of things so we kind of have it narrowed down um so that's just kind of what they're thinking um costochondritis is not like you can't just take an x-ray or take an MRI or a CAT scan and be like, oh yeah, by the way, I see that your cartilage is inflamed. It just doesn't work like that. Um, but they, the tests that they did run, they could find that there was nothing, nothing thank God, wrong with my heart. So, <laughs> that we're, we're good for that. So, that's at least good news. And, um... At least inflammation is something that we can can take care of unless it's caused by a virus. Then it has to like, my body has to work it out. But since it has been going on for two years, we don't know. Bacteria usually doesn't last that long, but it possibly could. Um, but you can just clean that up with antibiotics. So it's just kind of like, it's just this, like this big whole mess that we just like, you know, just got to the top <laughs> of the iceberg. And... So, um, like I said, you can't just like go in and diagnose it. It's just kind of like a guess. So right now I'm on some meds to try to clean that up and see if that's what it is. Cause that's really the only way that you can find out if that's what it is, is if you, you know, take drugs and if it works, then that's what it was. If it doesn't work, then it's something else. So <laughs> like I said, we're just starting to figure out what it is. So not too sure yet, but it's a start. So I just wanted to get on here and say I did not forget about you guys, but my life got really crazy really fast, and um, it just kind of uh, was, you know, eh. so it wasn't the best, and uh, like, I just wanted to let you guys know, I didn't forget about you, I love you guys, and um, yeah, so don't forget to ask me your questions for my Q&A video that my, you know, I'm hoping to do. I hope to hear from you guys and thank you so much for all of your patience and understanding about why I haven't been on here for the past like two or three weeks I think. Oh my gosh it's been, it's been so long it's ridiculous. So hopefully all of the mess is all cleared up and I'm good to go and um, I don't feel like crap anymore so whew, yeah. Now finally school is over. And so I should be getting back to posting at least one video a week. I hope so as long as my chest is feeling okay. But I will try to make sure to make you guys, or to update you guys, make sure you guys know what's going on. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for all of your patience and understanding. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.